Hey guys, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to the third annual Fright Night. Tonight we are on night seven and we're talking about 2020's The Invisible Man. I never saw, you know, from like the Universal Monsters, the OG Invisible Man. I did plan on watching it for this year. Um, actually I was trying to, the plan last year was to finish off the Universal Monsters this year. But then I was like, I really don't want to watch the Universal Monsters this year. I want to do some other stuff. But if you're interested in Universal Monster like reviews, I did those uh, last year. So I'll have that little playlist come up here so you can check all those out. But yes, 2020 is the Invisible Man. Of course, this was like a big movie when it came out. I did see this movie being on like the top 10 best movies of the year um of course that was 2020 covid going into the movie i did expect more from it i did expect to enjoy it way more and i was just like ah, i don't know but if i had seen it back then i think i would have you know i would have understand more of the love for it i know it's only been two years but i was just like i don't know like i was expecting just more from it just as much as people were enjoying it but again i do have to remember that during that covid time we didn't really get that many things and the things that we did get a lot of it wasn't the greatest even though desiree did tell me that it was not scary and i could watch it it's one of those things that i was just like i don't know like you know sometimes i have those trust issues like i have major trust issues and i was like oh. but i feel like right now was the perfect time for me to watch it and yeah it is not scary it is more of I feel like a thrilling type of deal and it's more of you kind of like oh my god is he there you're not seeing nobody like the, the invisible guy is not there right it's just like the way that Elizabeth Moss makes you believe that there really is somebody just like they're sitting on a you know on a chair there on the corner and you're trying to look very very hard like do I see a shadow do I see a glare do I see something you're trying to figure out so it is that thrilling kind of like aspect to it the only other reference that i have to it would be the hollow man with kevin bacon which i'm not gonna lie i was a fan of haven't seen it in years but i don't really want to rewatch it because i feel like it hasn't aged very well heck it just probably wasn't even a good movie at the start but i really liked it when i when it came out i i have the movie and i would rewatch it a lot and i would be like oh that was so cool uh which i don't even know now that i think about it like i saw that but i never wanted to see this it makes sense right i don't know but basically elizabeth moss is trying to get out of this very abusive relationship uh she does end up leaving the boyfriend and then you know he kind of ends up committing suicide and she's very very paranoid because he's very connected you know he's a rich powerful person he is like smart he invents things and you know she's just like i i don't like she doesn't trust even going outside to go get the mail because he's like he's gonna find me he's gonna do things you know once um they find out that he committed suicide you know she's not 100 percent convinced that he did indeed do that because you know things kind of start happening and you know she senses him and everything and it's like no he's here He's somehow invisible. If anybody's able to do this, that would be him. And he's like fucking with my life and stuff like that. And she's like, you know, kind of going crazy. And he's very psychotic because he's doing other shit, you know, to make her obviously look crazy. But there's like things also that for it to be very like technology, very like modern and stuff like that. Some things don't really pay off, you know, like the whole restaurant scene. You know, I just feel like if you had seen the the security cameras and stuff right like that could have been explained certain things that happened there you know what i mean like how do you explain that happening if you looked at security camera right i do think that this is one of those movies where you just accept what's happening and don't really ask questions kind of deal i feel like because there's some things that could have been explained if you kind of did a little bit more of like investigation before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. You don't miss the remaining days of Fright. And uh, with all that said, I am going to give The Invisible Man, um, I'm going to give it a large. So I did really want to give it a medium, but it is kind of sticking with me compared to a lot of the other movies that I've watched uh, this year. Well, I mean, as far as for, you know, the, the, the series it's kind of really stuck with me so yeah you know i will stick with the large all right guys that is it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow